calculate some net force here. Um, so remember, in order to calculate a net force, we're just basically adding up all the forces that are acting on an object, taking into account their direction. So choose one direction to be positive, one direction to be negative. Um, I would say may as well choose going this direction to be positive and going this direction to be um, negative. All right, so let's say we've only got 225 newtons worth of force acting in this direction. We have no other forces present. Well, that means our net force is going to be 225 newtons. It's not a balanced force. It's not a balanced force that's going to cause our object to accelerate in the same direction as the force. Uh, number two, very similar logic. It's just that we're going on opposite sides of the of the object. Number three is kind of interesting here. We've got two forces of 50 newtons acting in this direction. So that would be a total of 100 newtons worth of force acting to the right. We've also got 100 newtons of force acting to the left. So we're going to end up with 100 of these newtons canceling out 100 of these newtons. So we have a net force of zero. So just remember, net force doesn't mean that there's no forces present. We actually have quite a bit of force present here. It just means that our forces are canceling one another out. So we could still have quite a bit of force. It's just that when they cancel each other out, we say that we have no net force, despite the fact that we still have individual forces. In this case, it would be balanced. So we would not end up moving to the right or to the left. We would actually stay, stay in position. All right, number four, very similar logic to number three. End up adding up all of our forces on one side, all the forces on the other. See which one's the winner, so to speak. It looks like I have a net force of 224 newtons. Just subtracting um, my subtracting my forces here. So a total of 1,524 newtons going to the right, 1,300 to the left. Subtract the two, and I have 224 newtons worth of force. Which side's the winner? So obviously the the bigger side here. So the bigger side is. Uh, the bigger force is causing the box to move to the right, so it would make sense that our unbalanced force is causing the box to move to the right. All the rest of the problems on this page are very, very similar in terms of reasoning.